uh, but yeah, uh, Kinkers was before for sure. Um, we see. I think this must be his opponent making his way to the cage. Anthony. Anthony Hojback. Hojback. Four and three MMA record. These guys on paper are super similar. Mm -hmm. Hojback, nickname the Hound Dog. Four and three, 27 years old, 5'9", fights out of Pittsburgh. Yeah, All say, those he, Pennsylvania guys are tough. You know that. He's got, uh, I believe that's Will Morrill is his name, the, the striking coach there from Stout. Yeah, he trains at Stout PGH there in Pittsburgh. Uh, last fight was in December where he uh, lost, got caught in a guillotine, fought Matt Duggan. He's currently the Art of War Bantamweight champion. Tinker is somebody who I watched a lot of footage on because there was a lot of footage of him to watch when he fought Denzel. Uh, he fought Denzel a long time ago in a kickboxing match, 145. Kinker's one of those guys, he's he's very fun to watch. I like watching him, he's crafty. And incredibly gritty too, I mean. Tough as nails, yeah. you can't hurt the guy. And he's always in there. He usually tends to lose the first round of his fights and then get slowly better and gain momentum. Like he keeps a constant pace. Well, and part of that is his toughness, just tiring his opponents out. I uh, Kinker's one of my favorite guys to watch. Spider-Man usually always comes out dressed like Spider-Man. And uh, it's just those certain guys you see who've been doing this a long time. This guy's been in there, done that. He's slow, though. That's the one thing about Kinker. Yeah. Like his hand speed, he he's, he moves at a glacial pace for a fighter, and like a lot, he's he's usually at a speed disadvantage, but he still finds a way to make it a dog yeah. fight. That's his craftiness. And he's a little bit older, but he is. Is he still a brown belt? If he's a brown belt, he's been a brown belt for years. I know he was a brown belt when he fought Denzel, but uh, I mean, this is a, a skilled grappler. This is the first time we've seen him compete in MMA in years. Yeah. This is his return to the sport after a long time off. Very interested to see his grappling because, you know, anybody that hits a twister in MMA, you're special. Yeah. That's, 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 that's not something you do rare. accidentally. Yeah. yeah. Beck's training Ladies out of it. We are at bout number 22. This is a featherweight MMA bout. Fighting. Blue corner from Cranberry, Maryland. He's the Art of War Bantamweight MMA champ. He is scheduled to make his professional debut on June 29th. Here we go. Kinker taking the center of the of the cage quickly. Using that forward pressure. Nice low kick. Anthony holding his own here so far in the in the clinch. Nice Big knee. knee. Landed on the elbow. Yeah, I was going to say, I believe, I believe Kinker was able to get his elbow in there, but still it was a good setup for a knee. I still, I wouldn't want to take too many of those on the elbow either. Sam in that Greco lock here. You He's looking to turn him. Or maybe even look for that reap. Sam's not in a bad spot here if he can start. There's the ankle pick from Hojbeck, though. That was nice. And there he, oh. he, he runs the pipe on that single. Sam's got that guillotine, though. Say, now the question he's, really is. He's looking for a 10-finger yeah, guillotine. Does Anthony really want to be here? He pops his head out, though. Excellent work by Hojbeck. And now he's got that arm trapped from the half guard. 
And he's looking for the neck. That's that a John Jones terrible guillotine. As, as lets Kinker get up off the ground. That's a he's, he's oh! That's it. Standing Pro guillotine. Proved you wrong, didn't he, Colin? He, did. he, a, he was able to transition it to a high elbow as Kinker stood. It was beautiful. Beautiful work by Hojback. Moves to five and three and defeats a very game to Sam Kinker. That's a high level of confidence in your guillotine. High elbow guillotine. Hojback. Uh, he had his hands already connected. I couldn't see from that angle yet. He had that, that uh, Cody McKenzie style mm -hmm. finish. It was excellent work. He already had the high risk. Yeah, look at that. Praying, yeah. Look at that. This one. Yeah. That's that power guillotine. Yeah, the high risk guillotines that you've seen. They're dangerous and they're weird. Yeah. They're really coming around now. You've got to get a deep bite on that neck, though. Yeah. You've you got to go instead of going for the traditional guillotine grip. You sink all the way through and either go for that rear naked choke grip or the or that.